<clears throat> we're going to play from the uh, short court to the orange bass line, okay, to start out with. Um, this is, we're going to play um, some doubles. <clears throat> introducing the three doors of doubles okay so the three doors of doubles goes like this there instead of being two halves of the court there are three thirds one two three so the court is divided up into thirds okay the so I call them doors okay door one two and three the middle door is always door number two Door number two never changes because it's the middle door, okay? Door one and door three can leapfrog door two, and they can change based on where you hit the ball into your opponent's court, okay? Does that make sense so far? So one in, doors one and three can leapfrog, but door two is always door two. Everybody got that so far? Okay, good. Now, here's the easiest way to remember which door is door one and which door is door three. Ready, Eli? Door one is always the, the down the line door. Okay? Door one is always down the line. Door three is the extreme cross court angle. So, Ryan, if I was to feed you this ball, where would you hit it? to go through door one yeah so we go this is door one so who's standing in door one viva so viva you're covering door one if the ball goes to ryan you're that's door one down the line does that make sense now if you hit the ball through door two who would it go to trinity right all right so door two is yours trinity right Yeah, you could steal the ball away. You could go into door two and steal the ball away. We call that poaching. You could poach, like intensity. All right, when we play the game intensity. Okay, now, if Viva has door one, okay, all right, which door should you cover, door two or door three? She could hit at extreme angle. Can she even volley it through door three here? No, they, no, she can't. She can't. Oh, yeah, because it have to go like Right. It'd be extra, so you're going to cover door two. So you're going to be like right here looking at door two. All right. Because if she volleys it back to Ryan, did she go through door one or door two? One. That's right, because she volleyed down the line. If you hit it back to Ryan, what door did you pass through? Door two. You could try to hit it through door three, but is that a tough shot for you? Yeah, that's a tough shot for you. You don't have a lot of court here. All right, because if I just draw a line here, it intersects into the doubles line, that's a small space. You'd have to take the pace off. So if you're hitting through door three, you've really got to lower the speed and hit that extreme angle. All right, most of, uh, you know, we did, uh, when I coached high school tennis, we actually did stats on how many times the ball went through door three. Yeah, it went through door three about 2% of the time. Right? How, and so at, at a 98%, how many times do you think the ball went through door number two? <laughs> yeah, it was, it was like about 75% of the time, 80% of the time, right? It went through door two. And then so another, you know, 20% of the time it went down the line. So look at it like this. Seven shots out of 10 go down through door number two two shots out of ten go down the line through door one and maybe one shot goes through door three the extreme angle so which door are you really concerned about here door two and door one right door three now ah, you don't care about it. just leave that door wide open let them try to hit that so as two players on this court you're only covering two doors at a time door one and door two all right so let's I'm gonna feed a ball in Y'all play out the point, and let's see which doors it goes through. We'll count it out. Ready? Go. Door two. Door two. 
Door two. Hey, we're playing 60 foot line. Yeah, control your speed. Ready? Again. Re netters ready at the net. Ready at the net. Oh, what door was that? No, that's door one. She went down the line. Oh, I thought one started right there. No, I said it leapfrogs. If the ball is in front of you, if the ball is in front of you to Trinity, now you now this is door one. Oh. Yes. Right? For Viva, for Viva, door one is over there. Because she's, because she's, if the ball's to Ryan, door one is down the line for her. If the ball's in front of you on Trinity, door one's here. So when Ryan strikes the ball back, to, should you move forward here and cover door one? Yes, you should move forward. When it comes back to Ryan, where should you go? Shift back and cover door two. So you're going to go door two, it goes back, door one, it goes back, door two. And you're just going to shift from door one to door two. Depends on where the ball is. You ready? Same thing with you, Viva. All right, if the ball goes to Trinity, you're going to cut, shift back and cover door two. Back to the middle. Now go back down the line. There you go. Good. But if the ball goes back to Ryan, you've got to shift and cover what door? One. If the ball goes to Trinity, your partner, you shift over and cover what? Two. Because it may come here. And where am I? If she hits it to me, where am I going to go? Where am I going to volley this ball? I'm going to volley it through two or one. I'm not going to volley at door three, which is what you're trying to cover now. It doesn't matter. So you need to shift over. So shift over. So it's only a couple of steps. Go. Shift. Shift. Now shift back. Two steps. Shift. And then you got to move faster than that, darling. Yeah. You're going to have to move a little bit faster than that. All right. Let's do it again. Control your speed. Now shift back. Good. Now shift forward. Double. Control that height there. Here we go. Again. Okay, come up, back. Good. Now shift, shift. There it is. Oh, steal. Yes. Okay. So there's some poaching going on, right? So Trinity, it came through door two, but Eli's like, ooh, I'm going to, that's close enough. If it, it's, okay, I'm looking, I'm covering door one, but if it's right there close enough, I can steal it away from door two. And then you were there because you shifted because it went back to Trinity, your partner, and you were there to, to intercept it through door two. All right, do it again, ready, go. Cover, shift back, shift back, cover door two, Trinity, and wizard. Oh, wizard. Here you go, here you go, do it again. Shift, and shift, there you go. And shift, shift, oh. Yeah, you gotta lower the height and the speed on that to go through door three. Door two, door two, good. Even even the extreme angel, an, angels, angels, extreme angels. Even the extreme angles are coming through door two. Do y'all see that? They're not really going through door three. Not right now, but I appreciate that. If the, we'll do it, we'll do it that way where you can come in. Let's let's sh shift. Let, where are you going, dude? Right here. You go back. You come forward. You go back. You come forward. So now we'll play it from the other side. Okay. Ready, Eli? So what door are you covering, Eli? Uh, door two. Really, door two. That's right, because that's where it's probably coming through. There it goes. It came right through it. Are you ready, man? Come on, let's go. Ready position. Good. Ryan, where, why are you? Never look back at your partner, okay? There's a couple reasons for that. Can we clear those balls, Trinity, away from the net? All right, here's why. When you're at the net, you, when the ball goes past you, you never want to look back to where the ball is because there's two reasons for that, Viva. Number one, if I look back and Eli hits the ball, I get a fuzz sandwich. Yeah, the ball comes right at my face. I would rather get hit in the back of the head than the, than the face, right? 
I don't want a broken nose. We're so used to looking at the ball. Right, and so you need to be looking at the player. Okay, you need to be looking at the ball when the ball is going on that side. I'm sorry, when the ball is coming toward you, yes. But when it goes past you, you don't look at the ball. Now you look at the player. Okay, so the players at the net are going player, 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 player. And you just see the ball go past you or come to you. But your eyes are going player, player. So you're going player, and then the ball comes past you, you go player. You look at Trinity, right? Yeah. So can I, can I give an example? Slide over a little bit. Watch my eyes. Ready? So ready? Ready to play the point? So go. I'm looking at Viva. I see the ball go past me. I'm looking at Trinity. You see how? Because, because if, if Eli strikes the ball and Trinity happens to poach it or it goes right to her, if I'm not looking at Trinity, I'm going to be late. I can't get to the ball. Let's do it one more time. Come on, big big guy. You ready? All right, here we go. So I'm looking at FIBA. Ball goes past me. FIBA, can you control the speed, sweetheart? This is a demonstration, girl, and you're like, you know, hitting like a missile at Eli. I mean, geez. Here we are. Ready? Go. Thank you. And I'm looking at Trinity, and I'm looking at Viva again. And, oh, I see. My eyes are right. Go, go, Eli. Go. I'm looking at Trinity. I'm looking at Trinity. I got her. I'm looking at Viva again. I'm looking at Trinity again. And I got her. Oh, yeah. And I'm looking. Ah! Okay. Now you see? Because if my eyes don't, sh if my eyes go back here, if I'd have looked at that ball that Viva hit past me, and I watched Eli hit it, which is, you know, it's great to watch you hit the ball, but not right now. Okay? By the time he hits it and it gets. To Trinity, my eyes are already shifting, and now I'm not going to be able to react as quickly. That's why. Clear? Okay. Now let's do it again. Trin, thank you. All right. Same thing. Here we go. Again. Same thing, Trinity. So when the ball goes past you, you're looking at Ryan. And now you're looking at Eli. That's right, back to Ryan Trinity and back to Eli. Smooth, smooth it out, smooth it out. Oh, no, no, where you go, Ryan, Ryan, whoa, 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 hey, 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 hey. I mean, I know. I thought that ball yeah. was here and then <laughs> I didn't realize. Right, okay, so, so here's the rule, here's a good rule for poaching, okay? If, <laughs> the Viva, that was pretty funny, wasn't it? He's like, here's a good rule. If I'm here and I see the ball, and I can take one nice step, and in, if I can take one step and intersect it, I always like to say you're one step away from greatness. Yeah, you're one step away, okay? So if I'm here and Viva goes, now it depends on where you take that step, right? Because if Viva hits the ball and I take the step here, well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna intersect. So I've gotta take the step more toward the net, okay? All right. Even if I take it to the side, I'm still losing distance. It's hard to intercept that ball. Does that make sense? So one step, not like. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. Good job again. Go, go, Eli. Come on, man. Oh, nice. I like. Okay. Now, should you move a little bit more, maybe back and 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 this way? What do you think? Yeah. yeah, there you go. So if the ball goes back to Eli, you want to move here. Okay. Then take a couple of steps and you're back here. Okay. And then take a couple of steps and you're back here. So that you're, you're moving backwards a little bit to create some time and space to, to react. Viva, hello. Smooth, darling. Go. Ah, see... If she's doing this, what do you need to be doing? Yeah, and then like get into a, like a wide stance and a defensive posture so you can try to block, right? Okay. All right, so now we're going to actually play a game. Now that you know the three doors of doubles, right, and the strategy of three doors of doubles, 
Now we're going to play a game called, it's called Stinger. Okay, this was my favorite game, especially when I had the girls' high school team and the boys' high school teams. And it's the strat, the Stinger helps you learn to attack short balls. Like a, like a weak second serve. So what you're going to do, you're, we're going to reset so you're back again. Ryan, you're going you're gonna to be back like you're serving, okay? But you want to be further over, okay, behind the line, right? You're at the net, right? So you're the receiving team, right, Viva? You're the receiving team. So back up a bit because she's receiving the ball, all right? Now, I'm going to feed a, a softball to Trinity. You're going to sting it cross court with control, not like a missile, but with control, maybe depth, okay? And then you're going to come in behind this ball. You're going to come into the net, all right? So the, she's going to sting it cross court and come in. You cannot sing it down the line, illegal in this game. So you're going to sting it, come in. That means both of you are going to be at the net, and you have to play out the point at the net against one up, one back. All right, are we ready? Remember your doors. Back up a bit, Viva. You're the return. You're the return team. Come on, move back to the middle. You should be covering door two. Now, when it goes past you, you can go to door one. Ready? Go. Wait for it. Now go to door one. Stink. Wait. Stop. Hello. Hello. You're supposed to come in. That's the that's the point of the game. Just, so sting it cross court and come forward. Go. Play it at the net. Viva. Viva, hello, what door are you covering? Thank you, then move over because Trinity's got two. You don't have to cover both the door that she's covering. You have your assigned doors. Go. Now move over. And door one. And that's a good shot. Okay, so one zero for this team. Okay. All right, here we go. And there's the stinger. And coming in. Playing it out. That's out. Remember, we're playing 60 line. 60 line. So you have to control your speed. We'll back it up in a minute. 3 0 or 40 love. Okay? And again. Good. Yeah, Ryan, how difficult is it to make this shot with two protecting door one, door two? There's nothing to hit to, is there? There's no holes. If you're covering one and you're covering two, he has nothing that's open to hit to. He's basically either hitting it to you or you, or maybe try to hit it in between you. But you got the doors and you know your assignments. Maybe, but you haven't done it yet and we've played four points. Okay, here we go. One more. Right, but it's out. Yeah, it's tough to hit door three. And it's tough to hit the extreme angle. If she's covering two, get in. Hello, Viva. Is, is door two your door? Then get out of that door. You're distracting your partner. See, and now this is the beautiful part about three doors of doubles. Is that now, Trinity, you have a reason to say, Hey, Trinity. I'm sorry, hey, Viva. I'm Trinity. Hey, Viva. Hey, Viva. Door one. I've got door two. Right? And then Viva's like, oh, yeah. Right? So you, there's, you don't have the blame game anymore. Oh, that was your ball. No, that was your ball. No, there's no more blame game anymore. The three doors of doubles takes out the blame game. We, knew, we know whose fault it was. You are in the wrong door. Yeah. Your responsibility to get in your door. Ready? Now, she, she's in door two and she misses. She comes in your door. You can bark at her. Okay, here we go. And go. That's it. There you go. That's good. You can steal that away. All right, here we go. Ready? And last one. Come on. Oh, yeah. Get in there. Door two. Door two. Hello. Where are you looking? What are you looking at, Eli? You were looking at what? Tennis racket. What tennis racket? Okay. That's okay. 
All right, let's do it from this side. So Eli, you drop back. So we're going to sting it going this way. So now, Viva, you're going to sting it. And remember, Viva, sting it with control. Not a missile. You're coming in. So hit it a little bit softer so you can get into the net. Okay, go. Now get in. That's good. Play it. Okay. I like that stinger. That was excellent. Get in a little bit quicker. Come on, forward. Let's go. What are you doing? Whoa, whoa, hey, 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 stop. This is one of the things when I started this game with the girls team, they were really hesitant to sting it and come in. Why? Because they're not comfortable doing this. This is why it's a perfect game to play. Okay? My girls team won 90% of their matches, their doubles matches. Why? Because of the stinger. Because every time they got a second serve from their opponent, they stung it cross court and came in. I mean, they won. It was crazy how many points they won. Okay, it was off the, it was off the chart. Because there's so much pressure here. So come on in, Viva. You got it. You can win this point. Come on. All the pressure's on Eli. There it is. See? Don't worry. She's got door one. You've got door two. Don't have to worry about your partner and where she is anymore. Go. That's it. Go, 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 go. Awesome. Uh-oh. That's a great point. All right, so this is a lot more fun than just like volleying back and forth, isn't it? Yeah. Really, Viva? Are you kidding me? Viva's the rebellious child of the bunch. Okay, here we go. In a good way, in a good way. Come on, come on. I'm not sure. Come on, let's go. Let's go, reset. Oh, man. That's the first point you've... you've You've lost, right? No, she hit one out. Already. She did hit one out? Okay. So it's 4-2. Watch it. Dude, you... Okay, stop. Wait, the rule says that she stings it across court and comes in. There, You can't poach her stinger ball. That's that's illegal. That's illegal in this game. Viva, go. Yeah, it will sting you because she's, she's coming after this. You should be more concerned in her blasting at your head right which is the reality like does that make sense you, your partner hits a weak second serve shouldn't you be more concerned about them coming right at you yes, yes. like you don't in a, in a real in a match situation you don't know what she's going to do so you can't just assume that's why there's no poaching in this game because you can't assume that she's going to do that every time does that make sense you got to protect yourself Door one, ready? The ball's in front of you. That's it. Because Eli has, Eli, please, two hands on the back end, okay? Two hands on the back end return. I want you to redirect it. Are right, you ready? All right, here we go. You've got to control this stinger. Come on. Back up. Here you go. Eli, turn and hit a backhand. If it's deep, you need to back up, right? Okay. Why? Uh, because it will just bounce right here. No, because you need to create space and time. That's why you back up. We know where it's going to bounce. It's going to bounce here. Back up and create time and space. Go. Come on. In the court, sweetheart. Come on. Aim for this. Yes, that was out. Let's go. I'm, what I'm trying to relate to you is, Viva, it's not, you don't have to hit a spectacular shot. You don't have to hit the line. You just need to hit it deep is, is a good option, but not fast and deep because you won't have time to come in. What Really? Really? We do that. Come on. Let's go. You know better than that. Let's go. Come on. Go. That's out. Okay, so come, everybody come to the net a bit. What have we learned about covering the doors? Is it difficult to pass if the doors are covered? Yes. It is difficult to pass because there's nothing to see. Most players hit to open spaces. Okay? To the open space. Oh, I'm going to hit to that. Right? If, you're, if you know you have door one, then 
you'll never get caught off guard getting passed down the line because you know your partner has door two. They've got your back, you have their back covered, okay? If you get passed down door one, it's totally 100% your partner's fault. No, it's not, it's your fault. Yeah, that's I'm, I caught you not listening. If you get passed down the line, it's 100% your, res- your fault, your responsibility. Does everybody understand the three doors of doubles? Does everybody understand how to play Stinger? Perfect. So this was the three doors of doubles strategy. And then we played the Stinger game as um, a way to reinforce the strategy of three doors of doubles. Now, you can play this game from the 60-foot baseline, and then you can have players move back and play it from the 78-foot baseline, which is the big court. Uh, I like to start out introducing this on a shorter court rather than the big court because A, even players that haven't been playing very long can have success in approaching and coming in and volleying. And you, as you could see there, the, uh, the players were having fun controlling and playing out the point. So that is Three Doors of Doubles and the Stinger game.